I like to think of like what's, I, I build it from the inside out rather. I like to think of like building their guts and stuff, so I'll put uh, neon colors that I know when I put, like a, like if I painted this horse down, if like where his heart was, was like if that's where his spirit was, you know. I remember I got to a class, one of my abstract painting classes in college and I um, had forgotten my bag with all my paintbrushes in it and all I had was my, the paint that was in my locker at the time and my pocket knife. So I used my pocket knife to apply the paint and scrape it off and kind of realized that paintbrushes aren't the only tool, I guess. And I'm really using a paintbrush that I usually finish a painting too quick with a paintbrush. Like I can just do it and it's just there and it didn't really take any kind of like torture to get there. And I think that makes up for a really good part of art, you know, when it's a struggle to get to the to the final image. So my favorite favorite tool is um, my power sanders, my little power sanders, and different types of sandpaper. Because when I, when you pack up the layers of art, the uh, layers of paint together like that, and then you you could take a power sander and like sand back through it and find images that you painted once before, and you could put in a little detail with like uh, jewelry. The sandpaper that they use in jewelry making is really awesome. When I dropped out of jewelry making, I used all the sandpaper for my painting classes and. That's how my, my love affair started, I guess. I like to see different colors next to each other. And so when I put them on top of each other and sand through them, and then you can see the specks kind of coming through. It's kind of like when you look out to a crowd of people and you see, you can't really understand that, you know, each individual person, but you can see their specks of t-shirts and their specks of skin color and, you know, like a bird or butterfly and, you know, I don't know, the haze of life, I guess. What do you want out of your future in art? What do you hope to accomplish? I want to be in history books. I want to be in textbooks. I think that'd be cool. Not like big, just like a little, you know, in the art history textbooks, there's like a little painting that people study. Um, but more than that, like I want people to see, something good, I guess, or find something good. Like, I, I really want people to be able to like look into my painting and get lost in it and find like that true, something inside of them that makes them want to turn around and create something of their own or sing something or do something great for somebody. What does your art contribute to society? What's the contribution? I think I see it a lot of times with my students and um, with my niece especially because we do art projects together all the time. When um, we'll be talking and she'll tell me something that she's an idea or some kind of imagination thing she thought of or her dream she had. And usually while she's talking to me, I'll kind of sketch it out a little bit and I'll be like, like that, you know, is that what you mean? And it's like this overwhelming, like, whoa, you just made that from your hands. You had an idea and it came out of your hands and you made it into this solid thing I can hang on my art, my wall now. So I guess it shows them they can make something from nothing if they have something to say. Or even if not, they just want to get rid of some paint, smear it around with some wood and hang it on their wall and sell it. Um, for the kids I teach over at Harbor House, I think it's good for them to know. I guess, that, yeah, they can create whatever they want. They can make whatever kind of environment they want. And they can, they have like value. Their trash has value. They can make something and show somebody and they'll just think it's the best thing that they've ever seen. And it'll pull that special feeling out of them. Do you think um, art gives people hope? Definitely. I think for those those good paintings you can like get lost in and stuff and you start to really see it as something else besides what's painted. You can like start to see the brush strokes and you can see that person actually like made it and rendered it into something. Um, can sometimes translate into that they can render their lives into something, you know, they can they can make their life whatever they want. Metaphorically they can paint, you know.